this bitch is hiding in the fucking closet, bro. You didn't try to save me. I'm 15, you 30 something. I put my life on the line, pregnant and all. It could have turned out bad, okay? Thank you so much for watching this Angel TV where we talk about everything and when I'm everything, I mean like this story time once again, once again. Because if you didn't watch my previous video, I did this particular video where I was telling this story, but if I used the word like in the video, then the video had to end. The video was pretty short, so unfortunately I had to stop the video. But because y'all got the video to 100 likes like I asked y'all to, here is the full video. So hold on, before we get into the story, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so that you won't miss all of my other videos that I'm going to be doing. So we're going to be doing other videos besides story times. During this COVID-19 situation that's going on, I know a lot of y'all are interested in working from home. And y'all know me, I've been working from home since 2015. I want to be able to keep y'all up to date with what's hiring in the whole work from home industry. So I'll be doing those videos soon. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get into this video. <music> extremely dry skin, dry skin in my face, all over my body. I just be one dry ass bitch. So I actually discovered this new product by Candy Cloud Skincare. It specializes in body butters and also body scrubs. Now I've never been a scrub type person because I didn't really like the texture. But whenever I tried Candy Cloud, my skin hasn't been the same since. My skin was literally smooth for 24 hours. The scrub itself makes your skin soft. Candy Cloud Skincare products come in different flavors such as watermelon, anxiety relief, lavender, coconut, pineapple. She also have a mint collection as well. Great for exfoliating and removal of dead skin. It also leaves your skin feeling smooth and moisturized. The whipped body butter rejuvenates dry skin and also helps really well with eczema. Now y'all, she also has this lip scrub that she just launched. The lip scrub exfoliates the lips and removes dry skin. It is also good for softening and smoothing the lips. The lip balm seals moisturizer in the lips and protects them from external exposure. I'll go ahead and put her online store in the description box down below so that you can check her out. So go ahead, get your skin some light and purchase from Candy Cloud Skincare. <laughs> trying to say in my last video I'll just start from the beginning in case you guys didn't see that video because I didn't really get too far in it anyway so it was the summer of 2011 I was 15 and pregnant no one knew I was pregnant I was only 10 weeks pregnant at the time around this time Rough Rider was still living with us and if y'all don't know who Rough Rider is that means you probably don't know what's been going on and you probably haven't been watching my story time series but I'll just kind of fill y'all in real quick Rough Rider is my mom's girlfriend, which I did not find out about until I was older. It was her secret girlfriend for almost 10 years, but she was still living with us at this time. My mom was at work, so it was just me, Rough Rider, and it was also my little cousin. My little cousin was at my house for some reason, I don't know, I think I was babysitting him or something like that. I'm in my room, she's in her room, my little cousin is in the room with me, and we just chilling or whatever. I all of a sudden hear a huge ass bang on the door. Like, a big bang. Sound like the police. Y'all know the police be bang. Your bitch girl i was like the fuck is going on so i peeked my head out my door because the way that the apartment was set up like my door was right here my mom's door was literally right here and rough rider was in my mom's room because they had a two bedroom she was supposed to be sleeping in the living room but she was actually sleeping in my mom's room which i know why now but um that's besides the point Rough Rider was in my mom's bed and so she heard it as well she didn't get up though i did i got up and so i got up and i looked you know in the room because she had the door open i was like did you hear that and she was like yeah go see who it is if an adult is at home i don't feel like an adult should be sending a 15 year old to answer the door especially if you don't know who the fuck it is so i went down to go see who it was now the way that the house was set up was we had a garage downstairs you have to like come up a set of stairs to get to the actual apartment if that makes sense so I have to go downstairs because the garage was downstairs as well as the front door to get in the house was downstairs but the doors were like literally next to each other so I went downstairs to see who it was and I looked out the peephole I didn't see anybody like I didn't see anybody at, at all and so 
I was about to walk off and then I went back to look in the peephole again, you know, just to double check. And I stood there for a couple of seconds looking at the peephole. And then right before I was getting ready to stop looking and head up the stairs, I see a man, I don't know who the fuck the man is, a black man I know. Um, and he had a big ass white t-shirt on and he started running to my door like full fucking speed and kicking my door in. And I didn't know he was kicking the door in until I was already running up the stairs. But the moment I saw him running toward the door, I immediately started running up the stairs whenever I saw that. But y'all, why my dumb ass fail? Why y'all be seeing stuff like that on the movies when they be running from the killer or whatever and the girl or the boy falls and you be like, damn, like the bitch always gotta fall in the movie. I was that bitch, okay? Mm -hmm. I was that bitch that day, pregnant and all. It could have turned out bad, okay? I finally got upstairs and so I went straight to my room as this is going on. I had to kick in the door a good two or three times and so I go upstairs to my room and I notice Rough Rider and my little cousin was in my closet and I see Rough Rider on the phone. I guess she started to call the cops whenever she heard the whole door kicking in and shit like that. And I'm like, this bitch is hiding in the fucking closet, bro. Fuck me. Fuck my life. You hiding in the closet. You didn't try to save me. I'm 15. You 30 something. Rough Rider just didn't really like me anyway, so she answered me the phone because the dispatcher, whoever was on the phone, wanted to know the description of what I saw. We still in my room. My room door is closed, but we're in my closet, which my closet door is closed too. We don't know if the man is in the house. We don't know what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? We just on the phone and we just trying to wait for the cops to come. We sit on the phone with 911 until the cops came. They had like their guns drawn and stuff like that. And once they got to our room, they were like, is anybody there? So we have to like slowly people, hey, uh, us. Whoever kicked in the door wasn't in the apartment because they couldn't find anybody. They searched the whole house, of course, and they didn't find anybody. So um, after they cleared everything, said everything was cool, we went downstairs and they started to take a report. They really was talking to me because I'm the one who saw everything. Rough Rider didn't even have nothing to say because the bitch was in the closet, so they couldn't ask her nothing because she wasn't a witness. I was, you know, I put my life on the line right before I gave my statement. We noticed the door right across from my apartment was kicked in, like the door was open. He had had to have broken into that house before because if you break into somebody's house and you notice somebody's still at the house, you're not going to run off and then go back to the house across the way. So I'm pretty sure he broke into the house right before mine. The neighbors ended up coming home eventually and was telling us what they took. They said they took some prescribed pills and some of their beer or something like that. Real, real fucking childish. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck that was. I don't know who it was. I didn't have no enemies. I don't know if they had enemies. The fact that they broke into the house across seems as though it was kind of random. And then my apartment was literally in the back. My building was right next to the back gate. So I was really in the back. And it was daytime. It was broad daylight. I forgot to mention that. It was broad fucking daylight. But they didn't give a fuck. They didn't give two fucks. And neither did Rough Rider because Rough Rider did not give two fucks about my life that day. If that man really wanted to come in there and horn me I would have been the first one out of them because she told me to answer the door and my dumb ass answered the door real quick story it was really really fucked up like I would never forget that like how you just gonna leave me out to die that's it you guys if you guys enjoyed this story as much as I enjoyed recording it go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and also turn on my post notifications that way you keep up with my next video because you know new videos every Sunday as you guys know or you don't know but if you don't know, not you know. New videos every Sunday at 3 p.m. I guess I'm gonna see you guys later.